He's aggressive early on. Like to see that here for the Friars. Vince trying to push. This is what Creighton does. Foster for three. Got it. Howard against Thomas. Airball. Mitz. Trailer is Thomas. Thomas. Get to the corner. Ballot for three. Got it. And Creighton. Is Due to injury. Open three, no good for Cruz. And Greg McDermott mentioned that he wants that grip. That's what he wants down the stretch. More grip from his team, like you saw at the end of the game against Bill. to wake up the rest of the team. You need to get something going your way if you're Creighton. Hadley can't get it to go. Here's Thomas on the other end after the outlet. Leaves it for Tyshawn Alexander for three. Players, that's important. Those guys are comfortable down there. Thomas with the rebound. Kyrie goes right to Alexander. Morell swings it back to Mintz, who knocks down the three. Scruggs off the heel. How about that rebound by Thomas? It's like he was shot out of a cannon. They keep swinging it. There's Foster right where they want it. Right where he wants it. He's going to be comfortable. Coaching big guys, recruiting big guys. You'd imagine that that's going to be a team that's going to be a, a team that's built inside out. Jesse Govan averaging 12 and a half rebounds per game. Find your better shots than your best shot. Brandon Cyrus from three rimmed in and out. And here come the Blue Jays doing what they do best. That's run. And immediately Foster from the corner. And Marcus Foster, the senior. Spoken, what's, he's the inside of the wheel, if you will. Is that the shot you wanted Smith to take? Not right away. Thomas kicks it to the corner. Here's Ballack again. Confident. Yeah, Greg McDermott absolutely raves about Mitch Ballack. Hegner grabs the miss. Foster. Clement. Knocks it down. UCLA has missed its last seven shots. Oh, not Alexander wide open. It, it, Mr. Reliable, who, who certainly there isn't a guy that Greg McDermott trusts more than Clement. And so you get in a pinch. Clement's a guy that Greg McDermott is extremely confident in playing. In fact, he played a lot of minutes here as he lets one rip. Knocks it down. By two, its largest lead was six. And Ahmed doesn't get the roll. Lindsay again and hits four. Great legs tonight. Takes a three. In it out. Tight rims at the guard. They're usually loose. I like them. That's right. They're a little loose. Lindsay baseline J. Got it. That was loose. But and that's another way. Thomas back in the game. He's defending Walter, and Walter misses, and Crumple pulls down another. Martin Crumple now with 13 rebounds. That is a new leader from Henry. Oh! Crumple rebounds. Outlet. Damian Mintz. He'll back it up. Set the offense. Kyrie Thomas corner. Got it. Rousey. Friars run. Lindsay off the fake. The rim in that way. So, do you think that Greg McDermott and the style that they play needs a low post offensive guy? Oh, you have to have someone that can roll to the rim. And now Russell never hit the rim. Seven to shoot. Uh, Bullock on the deck. Ball loose. And out comes Ashton Langford. Looking out Lindsay's way for three. Rainmakers good. And Jackson for three. Ten seconds. Threes and threes. And keeping our eyes on threes. Earlier today, Rich, look for Bullock's number to be called quite often tonight. Inside and rejected by Bullock, doing it at both ends. Friars looking to push. Nice pass to the corner. Isaiah Jackson knocks down the three. At three. 
outside by Caleb Hollander. And that's what he's in for, just to shoot threes. And Lindsey. Now wide open, Baldwin top of the key, in and out. It's a good look, Chris Baldwin can make that shot. Going to slow this ball down, he can't get up the court this quickly. Lindsey, three! Hartwright. They got inside another easy shot is missed this time by Khalif Young, the freshman. Cole Huff. He hits. To the bucket. Inside Gaston. Can't lay it down. Picked up by Marcus Foster, the Kansas State transfer. Quickly into the front court. Baseline wide open. Cole Huff. And that's good. To the three. He got it back. Straight to the rim. A bottle wouldn't go. Cartwright spins out of trouble. Into the corner. Lindsay for the lead. Got it. Here. It's Joe in traffic. Stays with it. Loose ball to Cartwright. Got a trail man. Yep. On the wing, Jackson for three. Interesting. They play. The interior on this shot. Here's Lopez, a little too strong, and that's good hustle. Rats tried, but the outstretched arms of Bullock was able to snare that one. Lindsay again from three. Back to back three. Stony Brook misses their first three from Tyrell Sturdivant, who's a 34% shooter from outside the arc. Jackson from the corner. He hits. Perhaps the D. Well, why don't go? Backed up. That's the difference in the game now. Good you know, job by Bullock. The guys in the old days, they weren't going to kick it back out. No way. Working inside. Kick it outside. Three ball. Got it. Shoot it, White. He can oh. Patton had it. Lost it. Watson comes out. Three on two. Thomas is feeling it. It's Mercer. Wendler from deep. Good board as Cleef Young plucks it. Here's Lindsey. He is one hot. 66-50. Foster. Ooh, almost trapped with Harold Jr. Baseline zeroed in for three. Maurice Watson. Chris Lane. Chris Lane comes back for Longwood. Now Patton in transition. He knocks down the three. Check in, but there's two fouls. Parker on the Reynolds screen, twirling into the lane. And Creighton takes it away. It's Thomas on the push. Great vision to find Foster. That's a three. Blair another three. Now this time, and a rebound to Cartwright. Nearly runs into Diallo. That was very good defense by Rodney Bullock, who fires the three though. And hits. Some room. And take it away. Diallo. Lindsay Fury. With his voice as well. Morrell, spinning move. Shot off the side. Rebound by Diallo. They're getting there. They just can't complete a few of these. Here's White for three. Good. And three on transition for Kyrie Thomas. Dunk, that should be able to get you going. Shields can't get the bounce, and Thomas pulls the rebound. Thomas looks at it again. Got it. Kyrie. All the way with the left hand. Young to split the ball screen with the bigger pattern. Kyrie Thomas. So cleaning it up is he kind of smart, and it's a two-point game again. Creighton can't get split on the ball screen. Blake Hamilton created that. Open three. It's the three. The three-point shot by Aaron Jackson. See, just so much pressure put on you because of the interior presence of Johnson. Patton, a three-pointer. None of those were threes. He actually did take one three-pointer two. Walton misses, and Patton pulls down the rebound, and quickly Creighton gets to the offensive end. Three on the way. Got it. 
Rodriguez trying to initiate some action. Now we've got four on four. To the corner for Zierden for three. Good. Coming off the bench was another starter. But Zierden's fine. Zierden's just going to do what he does, which is catch and knock down triples. Like that. Tap. And at the point, we told you, moving over from the two to the one is Antino Jackson, a 5'11 junior from Houston, Texas. And he will let it fly and miss the three-pointer. And Kyrie Thomas has been one of the great stories in the conference early this year. Out there and play off the ball is huge. It's the sixth time this season that Alexander's been in double figures. Now Scurry from the same spot, same result. Seats on the bench with this crowd out of their seats. Outstanding effort, but comes up short. Cartwright right to Lindsay. Knocks down. Finds the open man. The step back for Evans. Great my wife got away with a push underneath. The fans not happy about it. Zierden, a friendly bounce for the senior. Don't really. Weidman will take the jumper. That's a shot the Blue Jays want him to take. Thomas in transition. Good ball movement. Foster for three. Got it. That is saying, listen, my guys can still learn. You know, they can they can get something out of this. But I like Vince. I like your statement. It's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long year for them. A valuable teammate. Neal three-pointer off the mark. Battle for the loose ball underneath, and Foster clears it. Pushing for Kyrie Thomas, three-pointer. That's a long-distance three that's no good. Fine seal off by Alexander. Ballot. Got it. He knocks it down. Marvin Clark, the transfer out of Michigan State, hits a three, two-point lead for St. John's. Harrell Jr. for three, comes right back. Slip. Spellman kicks. Velocity rises. We're getting used to the guys ringing the bell. Disappointment reigns. It's trying to beat him back down the floor. He gives it up into the corner for a Foster three that rattles in. Lindsay lets it fly. It's no good. Rebound by Hegner on the weak side. Here comes Foster going right to the rim. Corner jumper by Thomas. It's good. He has the basketball in the paint, and his shot is off the side of the rim. Pretty good help there by the Blue Jays. Outside defense. Jumper from the corner is good, so back-to-back -back three.